Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be an updated guinea pig first aid kit. I've done this video for the past few years and I try and do it yearly because my first aid kit does change and sometimes it has more things in it, sometimes it has less, but there's a few things that I would always recommend having with guinea pigs. Now, first aid kits don't replace a vet visit. I like to have a first aid kit because of the amount of guinea pigs I have and because guinea pigs can go downhill so quickly it's worth having things that can help them along the way until you can get to a vet. You never know what's going to happen, guinea pigs can go downhill and get poorly on bank holidays, on at Christmas, at Easter, times when the vets are closed and um, talking from personal experience it happens a lot. So a first aid kit can help save your pet's life but like I say it does not replace the vet visit. You should always take your guinea pig to the vet but it's just one of those extra safety things that you can have with your pet guinea pigs. So I keep my first aid kit in this top drawer in my guinea pig shed. It makes sense to have it here because everything's easy to access and they all fit in there quite nicely. It looks majorly full so I'm going to actually reorganise this after so it's a good excuse to get everything out for a video. Now there are a lot of things in here that I would recommend having in any guinea pig first aid kit but there are also a lot of things that you wouldn't need and I wouldn't recommend having a first aid kit unless you have a lot of experience with guinea pigs. The reason I have so many things is because of the amount of guinea pigs that are in and out of our house and the amount of pet guinea pigs we have so it makes sense to have a lot of things because the more pets you have the more chance there is that one of them is going to get poorly so it, I like to be nice and safe and have a lot of things. I'm a little bit too precautious I think but I'll show, go ahead and show you what I've got and I'll talk through them, talk through what I would recommend definitely having and what would possibly need a bit more experience and things like that. Now in my first aid kit I do keep my grooming box, I feel like it's part of their health and hygiene and I keep them in this little box so that they're not scattered everywhere in the first aid items so I'll take everything out and show you what's in there. So these are all of my brushes, combs and scissors. I do have long guinea haired guinea pigs so I do need to keep their hair trimmed. So on the left I have a kind of soft bristle brush. I use that to put fly strike or insecticidal spray into the guinea pig's fur. It's the easiest thing to use and it was just a cheap brush from Poundland. The comb next to it came in a pack with it. I've never really used that but um, I've kept it just in case. Then I've got my cutting scissors. These are proper pet cutting scissors. I've got my brush that I use a lot. It's fantastic for the longer haired guinea pigs and then I've got my little comb at the end. I then have some grooming spray and a pet shampoo. I don't shampoo my guinea pigs often at all but I like to do the male guinea pigs at least once a year. The grooming spray helps to keep up the cleanliness of their fur, especially long haired guinea pigs. It works really great to keep them smelling nice and staying fresh. So those are my two kind of cleaning bath products and then on the left I've got my nail clippers. So here I have a large pack of powder free vinyl disposable gloves. These are great anyway with pets but um, especially great in a first aid kit if you don't want to be passing on anything to other guinea pigs or risk picking up a guinea pig that's poorly or might have something. You might need to put cream in an area that you obviously wouldn't want to touch with your hands so they come in really handy and I definitely recommend getting some of those. I then just have some standard kitchen scale sorry about the reflection these are a definite must in any guinea pig first aid kit because you need to be weighing them regularly at least once a week to see if there's any change usually one of the first signs of illness is their weight so having a little scale set of scales like this one in your shed or anywhere near your cage comes in really useful so that you can use it immediately whenever you need to so I'll go through this little um, kind of organiser first of all and show you the little bits and bobs in here. One thing I don't have in here that I would recommend having is a little miniature magnifying glass. That really would come in handy for looking at sores or something like that. So I would recommend having one of those. I haven't been able to find one that I like yet so I haven't got one of those but it is something I would recommend looking into. So the first thing I have in my little organiser is just this coconut oil. This is just a natural um, organic coconut extra virgin oil and this 
can come in handy for a few different things so if they've got dry skin on their ears or feet you can use it there and it also comes in handy to clean their grease gland I do have a couple of bandages in my set this isn't something I've ever used but it's something that's always recommended on guinea pig forums and informational websites so it's something I've always included even though I've not personally used them so I've just got a blue cohesive bandage and a pink one and then I've got some um, micro porous tape so that's obviously to hold on well to hold on a bandage but um, not these type of bandages really but I have it in here anyway hand sanitizer is another must because it helps keep you nice and clean and it helps stop any illnesses from spreading as well I have these two syringes a large one and a smaller one this is another thing I'd highly recommend having to syringe feed water if they're dehydrated and aren't drinking and also to, to syringe feed any medication or something like critical care. So here are a few of the random things. I've got some spoon levels on the left. I've got an average spoon here. That's again to feed them or encourage them to eat. Tweezers is something I'd highly recommend having, especially if your guinea pig has got something maybe trapped in their eye. I obviously wouldn't recommend going straight in the eye with this, but if they've got, for example, a large piece of hay stuck in their eye and there's a piece sticking out that you can manage to pull out really carefully with tweezers, it's something I'd recommend having. I use these a lot, not just for the hut, but for different things. So they've come in really, really handy. And this toothbrush, is something I did use to put the fly strike and things like that on. It's obviously a, a new toothbrush but um, the brush works much better but this was just a, a last minute solution when I didn't have a brush. So then I have two solutions for hay pokes. Hay pokes is something that's very common in guinea pigs. It's when a hay basically pokes their eye and their eye can, can become cloudy or infected so it's something you need to act on quite quickly. So this is something I recommend having. It's the B for Eye Gel and it is like a gel. This has done me wonders with hay pokes. Duffy is very prone to hay pokes. She gets them a lot and this has basically saved her sight on a couple of occasions. And then something I read up on a forum that's supposed to be very good for guinea pigs is the Optrex Soothing Eye Drops for Itchy Eyes and this is for humans and this basically would wash out their eye after a hay poke and I haven't personally tried it yet but I decided to add it to my first aid kit because it was so highly recommended and also because hay pokes are so common. Now Sudocrem is something I've always had in my pet's first aid kit because it is fantastic to help cure any minor cuts or scrapes with your pets that happens quite a lot when they're quite boisterous and it's a baby cream so it's nice and safe for them and it's something I always use. I find it much better than the actual guinea pig branded creams and things like that it's just something I've preferred and always used and it's always worked for me and it's also something Sudocrem actually recommend doing because they have an article on their website about using it with pets so it's perfectly suitable and it's definitely something worth having in your first aid kit. I then have a nail file and this little eye light type thing to look into the guinea pig's eyes or into their ears just to help me see if there's anything that I need to find in there so if they've got any issues going on that's really handy to have. I then have a spare water bottle this is always useful if I need to split up any poorly guinea pigs and put them into their hospital cage or split them off from in the cage so it's always good to have a spare bottle. I then have these natural science oxbow hay tabs this is something else I recommend having they have different ones for different things I I always use these multivitamin ones because I like them and I don't have any guinea pigs with joint problems or any other type of medical problems so these are just a little great addition to keep your guinea pigs nice and healthy but um, things like the joint support ones are supposed to be really good because people have seen that they do work and you can get these they're not cheap but they are a great addition to keeping your pets healthy. I then have a pack of critical care, another must in any pet first aid kit. You can make up your own by meshing up some pellets and syringe feeding that, but so many people have used this and had success with it, including myself. So if pets ever go downhill, for example, during the night time or on a bank holiday, you can syringe feed this and most likely they will perk up. Every time I've used this, it's 
pretty much helped my pets get more themselves and it's helped pick them up and if they haven't been eating or anything they started eating after taking this so it's always worked for me as well as so many other people again it's not the cheapest but it's something I'd highly recommend having in a guinea pig first aid kit I then just have a little pack of sample food this is just in case again I have to quickly take them to the vets and need to grab a little pack of something for them to eat. It's just a sample pack and I don't usually have one of these in a first aid kit but I just thought it was a little easy addition to add rather than having to grab food and a bag or something so this is there ready just in I case. I have a cooling gel pack and a hand warmer just for supervision purposes if a guinea pig needs to be cooled down or warmed up and these are especially great for vet trips when you're on the way the way to the vets or something like that. I then have a baby's changing mat this isn't something you need but I just like to have something like this because it's something you could just either health check them on you can groom them on it it just comes in handy to have something that you can fold up and stick in the drawer and then pull out when you need it and you know also if you need to wrap them up in something it's just something really cheap I then have these Sainsbury's little ones fragrance free baby wipes you can get pet grooming wipes but these are nearly exactly the same if you look at the back of the packet and much cheaper I don't use these much on the pets unless they have a little stain that they can't get to themselves but I do use it a lot to wipe surfaces where I make veggies because it hasn't got any dis then I have this little tub of Trimex this is only something you would need if you cut your pet's nails yourself otherwise you wouldn't need it this is basically a powder solution that stems the bleeding of pet's nails so if you cut down to the quick by accident which thankfully has never happened to me and I've been cutting their nails for a long time but just as a precaution I have it there just in case I then just have some cotton buds these are handy in any first aid kit they come in useful to dab on creams and clean maybe around infected areas and you know cleanse it so that it's nice and clean ready for the medication Next I have a pack of Ella's Kitchen Banana 100% Organic Baby Food. This isn't a must at all but it's something I like to have. It's again to encourage eating if your guinea pigs are lethargic and refusing to eat. It's kind of liquid type formula but it's not liquid so a bit like porridge but um, it's basically a similar first aid Thing to critical care so to aid recovery and encourage them to take in fluids or take in a bit of food so this isn't a must and if you've got a choice of critical care or baby food you definitely need to go for the critical care because it has more fiber but I like to have both because this has a different flavor so if ever I'm in a situation where they won't eat the critical care I've got the Ella's Kitchen banana food. Next I have some nappy rash ointment and this is just cream this is for Casper's feet now nappy rash cream is great for sore feet or for feet that are overcoming bumble foot, foot and things like that because it acts as a kind of barrier the reason Casper I use this for Casper is because genetically he has quite sore feet and saw hocks and that is just his genetics he's always been like that he's got very sensitive feet so putting the nappy rush cream on every now and then just gives it a kind of barrier so that his feet don't get as bad as they could be and aren't affecting him in any way next I have this beefy guinea pig vitamin solution this is a great thing to have in a guinea pig first aid kit again if they're not eating and vitamin C is crucial to guinea pigs because without it they could it could cause scurvy which is something you don't want and this is a great thing to have in first aid kit something you won't need to use very often but it definitely picks up a guinea pig that isn't themselves I've noticed that and I would 100% recommend putting this on the food just a couple drops on the food not in the water because if you're putting it in the water it'll either encourage them to drink but they won't drink fresh water on its own after that or they won't drink at all which is really something you wouldn't want if they're already not very well then I have some fly strike protector this doesn't really need an explanation it's just to protect the guinea pigs from fly strike and it's something I use quite regularly I then have this huge pot of petroleum jelly and 
this isn't something I've used personally but I have just in case because it's something that always comes up in forums when talking about first aid kits and people have used this and said it works well with itchy skin and sensitive skin and it also helps to cure areas that mites have been at so where it's itchy and quite raw it helps to kind of rid the mites of that area and help the guinea pigs recover after they've had the medication to get rid of the mites and have this beefer anti-parasite spot on this is something I've added recently because I protect them anyway from mites and lice and things I wasn't too worried but because I now feed them a bale of hay rather than a packet of hay and there's more risk of mites with that I decided that I better add it to my first aid kit just in case it ever happens and I can treat it straight away I then have this pack of Infocol and um, with products like this I would Consult your vet before adding them to the first aid kit and make sure you're quite an experienced guinea pig owner before getting human products. This is to treat bloat and gas. It's for some reason mites, bloat and gas are things that I always get really concerned about and worried that will happen. But um, this can help treat a guinea pig that does have bloat or gas. It can be a very serious problem with guinea pigs because they can't pass wind but with um, something like this it, I'm pretty much safe obviously they'd go to the vet if anything but because I have so many and it's more of a risk I like to have it in my first aid I then just have this eye wash and bath and this is again because Duffy is so prone to hay pokes like with the Optrex I treatment I just like to have this it's completely safe and is used to kind of clean the area and wash it out if they're are remnants of any infections and it apparently is really good for that so I just decided to get this Sainsbury's one. I then just have this small glass um, bottle of olive oil. This is something I didn't know about actually for until recently because I always thought this was something that wouldn't do well with guinea pigs but if guinea pigs, again it's to do with bloating gas, but if there's a situation like that, olive oil is supposed to be really good for passing poops, so a tiny little bit of olive oil can help to get their system going again and help them pass through any poops that they're struggling with. Sounds disgusting, but it's supposed to be really good, so I've added this one recently. Now this is Dioralite, and this is a medicine for children and they're just black currant sachets and this is to help with dehydration a bit like when the guinea pigs are lethargic and not eating if they're not drinking you're in the same situation there is more chance that they'll take flavored drinks so black currant is something that is supposedly I've never actually had to use it thankfully but it's supposedly supposed to go down really well with the guinea pigs and encourages them to start taking in liquids and then eventually water again so it's again something I like to have um, because dehydration is a huge risk with guinea pigs it could really really do them harm if they are affected I then by have it. this metatone tonic this is a fantastic product to have in a guinea pig first aid kit it helps to aid recovery so pigs that have been poorly it helps to perk them up and if even if they're just not themselves a little bit of this helps to take them back to themselves and um, start eating and drinking again it's something I've pretty much always had I used to always have this in my first aid kit but I've recently added it again because it's such a great product to use with guinea pigs and have when you've got so many guinea pigs that could potentially get poorly at any time. As well as all of the products I've already mentioned I 100% recommend having a spare travel cage or hospital cage now when you've got a travel cage with guinea pigs rather than a carrier I would definitely choose to get one of these store book cages because you need something that you can use as a travel cage and as a hospital cage it's always good to have two in one rather than just a carrier and have them locked away where they're potentially going to be hidden away from you, from you and you're not going to be able to aid them as well as you would in a kind of hospital cage where you can take them inside and treat them and I would also recommend having a small towel always in the travel cage so you can get it out and use it whenever you need to. So that to. is everything that's in my guinea pig first aid kit. I'm sorry this has been such a long video but I didn't want to just show you the products and maybe you'd go out and get them and not know what they were for or not know whether you needed to be quite experienced to use them or to be consulted by a vet before using them or adding them to your first aid kit it is really important that you know that vet visits do come first these are just kind of 
precaution things just in case things happen and when the more guinea pigs you have the bigger your first aid kit's going to be your first aid kit won't be this big if you've got two guinea pigs and it looks a little bit scary that I have this much stuff but it's honestly because I have so many and it's important for me to be able to treat them if things happen when I can't get to the vet like on bank holidays but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's been helpful to you please comment down below what you have in your first aid kit I would love to know and thank you for watching I will see you very soon bye everyone